So Disney just released a heap of new information about its new streaming service, Disney Plus. So we know when it's dropping in the States, a whole bunch of great new shows that are dropping. And most importantly for me, I know when it's dropping in Australia. So I think we need to talk about it. <laughs> So we have Disney, Pixar, Marvel, Star Wars, and Nat Geo. Five categories on the homepage. And then from there, they'll have a bunch of subcategories within the different groups. In America, it's gonna be dropping November 12th, and it's only gonna be $6.99 US. That's crazy. You can also sign up for a year for $69.99. Along with having all the original Star Wars movies, Marvel movies, including Endgame, and all the other stuff. They're also gonna be producing a bunch of original content to put on the channel. So you're probably asking yourself, what new content are they gonna have? How can they be what Netflix and Stan and Prime and Hulu and everything are bringing to the table. Well, I'm about to blow your mind. So for starters, the big one. I'm not super excited about this, but I'm not a huge Star Wars fan. I like Star Wars, but you know, I'm not as obsessed with it as I'm about the Marvel movies. The Mandalorian. So imagine a Star Wars movie split up with that, that grand scale kind of feel. Well, at least I hope they have that grand scale because that's my favorite thing I like about Star Wars. If it's like Attack of the Clones with a bunch of council meetings, count me out, I'm not watching it. I wanna see action. Next, what I'm most looking forward to is a bunch of original Marvel TV. TV shows. With a bigger budget, I think, with the Netflix ones. We're talking The Falcon and The Winter Soldier. That's just one show. One Division. That's Scarlet Witch in the Vision. Spoilers ahead if you haven't seen Infinity War. But they kind of have a bit of a relationship happening. Who would like to see One Division as like a romantic comedy style show? Now that's the show I'd like to see. On top of that, which a lot of people I'm sure are going to be more excited for, we have a Loki show. Now with the other shows, One Division, we're going to have Paul Bettany and Elizabeth Olsen in. And we're going to have the original actors in The Falcon and The Winter Soldier show. But with Loki, I think we're going to have the Loki actor. But it might be a younger actor, they haven't confirmed it, or at least not that I know of. And lastly, we've got a Hawkeye show. We don't have too much information. I think that's gonna come later on. On top of that, we're also gonna have some animated shorts. So if you've seen the Toy Story trailer, that Sporky character, yeah, he's gonna have his own little thing in there. Bit off topic, but I'm kind of intrigued about the Toy Story movies. I've always loved them because they kind of have that existential questions about them. And uh, from what the trailers look like, it looks like Sporky's having a bit of an existential crisis. I find that really fascinating. And if you like Monsters, Inc., they're gonna have a, a Mike Wazowski and a Scully TV show with the original voice actors. The shows could honestly be terrible, but the talent that they're bringing in is awesome. Speaking of talent, Nat Geo, the one that nobody really cares about. I care about, but I really like documentaries and things like that. There's gonna be a new show called The Curiosity of Jeff Goldblum. I don't mean this in a bad way, but I could honestly just fall asleep listening to it every night. His voice is just so calming and soothing for your brain. I feel like when I was a kid, my puppy died. I'd want Jeff Goldblum to tell me. If they ran out of my favorite kind of pizza, I'd want Jeff Goldblum to tell me. If there was a meteor coming down to wipe out the entire civilization, I actually wouldn't want to know. But you know what? I hope I'm going to be listening to Jeff Goldblum's new show when that happens. It's a coming. <laughs> now, nah, we're going to be fine. I'm going to live forever. Now, there's so many announcements of new content that they've said. One of the big ones that stuck out to me is something that I think everyone's going to be stoked about. Not my parents. They absolutely hate the show. And that show is... Oh yeah. The Simpsons. Oh yeah, The Simpsons. The Simpsons have put on the mouse hat. Does anybody else remember this? When The Simpsons predicted it? Damn, they really predicted everything. This is thanks to Disney's recent purchase of Fox. Now owning the rights to all your favorite Fox movies, Fox shows, etc. Unfortunately though, because this is a Disney streaming service, I really doubt you're gonna have Family Guy, American Dad, things like that. But there's always hope. My theory is, at least in America, Disney has a majority share in Hulu. At the moment, they have a lot of things on Hulu. And I can really see them starting to put all their more mature content. I'm saying Deadpool, American Dad, Family Guy, all the things that don't fit the Disney criteria. Now this isn't launching in America till November, but I'm hoping in the coming months, we can get some more information about your favorite shows, movies, things that are gonna be coming on the streaming service. Now guys, can we just get a bit emotional for a second? Because I just realized, does this mean all our favorite Saturday morning shows are gonna be coming back on? That's right. Oh, what do you know? It's nostalgia time. We might be able to see some of my favorite childhood TV shows. I'm talking Lloyd in Space. <laughs> the Proud Family. You and me will always be The Replacements. Call in the replacements. And you probably won't remember the name of this show, but try not to sing along. As well as some of the shows my sister used to watch. Lizzie McGuire. And Hannah Montana. I really want to be honest with you. Saturday mornings, Hannah Montana was my jam. Cause of Bella Ray Cyrus. How did they not know though? She was just wearing a wig. If I put on a wig, would you forget who I was? <laughs> of course you wouldn't. I'm Jake Mellor. 
and don't you forget it. There's a thousand nostalgic Disney shows. I could spend a whole episode just talking about that. But let me know down below. I'd love to hear what your favorite Disney shows were. Does anyone remember the show Recess or did I just make that up? I feel like that was a show. Oh, and that's so Raven. Oh, there's so many. Now for me living in Australia, my big question is, when is it gonna launch in Australia? Well, I've been doing a little bit of reading online. I haven't read a book since I read Captain Underpants at school and I didn't even read that. I just did the flipperama. I'm gonna stop whispering. What was I talking about? Oh yeah, when it's coming to Australia. I forget things sometimes. There's just so much to talk about. It's the manufacturers that make TVs. You know those things you exclusively use for streaming? So I've basically heard that manufacturers are already working with Disney to get the Disney streaming service on the TVs. You know when you put the TV on and you see Netflix and YouTube and things come up? They wanna have Disney Plus on that. I might be getting a new TV around November 12th. Or in case you wanna get me an early Christmas present, Tim. This is Tim, he's my roommate. Pretty cool dude. Which means we could be getting Disney Plus November 12th, the exact same time as the US and at this stage it looks like we're gonna get the first 30 days free and then it's only gonna be $8.95 a month hey guys two sex I'm just telling work to send my pay slip directly to Disney but this is actually incredible we're gonna have 500 plus Disney movies and over 700 Disney TV shows we're gonna have new content we're gonna have a constant nostalgia fest and Disney's even gonna be unlocking the vault the vaults where they keep some of their most prized movies TV things like that so I know this was a lot to process. There's just so much stuff Disney owns now. I really cannot wait for it. I think a lot of people, including myself, are gonna have to start getting rid of other streaming services just to make room for Disney. But it's so damn cheap. But now in Australia, at least, we've got Netflix, Stam, Prime Video. I know not a lot of people have Prime, but you should definitely check it out. It's like $3.99 a month. It has so many great shows. It's awesome. Honestly, it's awesome. And in America, there's even more streaming services, like the DC streaming service. We don't have that yet in Australia, but it should be coming soon. So honestly, let me know down below what shows you're excited for, what shows are gonna bring out the nostalgia feel. I can honestly talk about this forever, so bring it on. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. As I'm making this video, it's Wednesday, which is exactly one week until I'm seeing Endgame. If you need a little bit of a recap on Endgame, I'm gonna link below the video I did yesterday, the MCU from beginning to Endgame. If you like this video, leave a like down below. Maybe you should consider subscribing because I love creating content. Hey, I'm whilst you're at it. Have a great day. Who's a little like water and oil? Brandy and Mr. Whisker.